You know, I don't know how many times I've been at a party and somebody said, Mike, why do we need to know about function inverses? And here's what I always tell them. Now that never happened. Uh, you need to know about function inverses though because first, what is an inverse function? And then we need to talk about function composition. Remember, functions are maps. Um, so here is, and this is a way that we can draw them. We'll just say one, two, and three. And we'll say A, B, and C. Doesn't have to be these things. Remember, functions are these arbitrary maps. And here's kind of how you picture it. So there's F maps for this. This would be the domain. And this is the range. And sometimes um, this is called the codomain. There are certain different vernaculars for slightly different meanings, but for the moment we'll just stay with domain and range. And suppose we have this ordering. Uh, we will map, how about, let's let one go to B, and two can go to A, and three to go to B. So you could organize this function by this. So you do this, so f of one is equal to B, f of 2 is equal to, what did I say, A, and f of 3 is equal to C. So here is a quality that's very important for the function that we just uh, wrote up there. It is one to one. It means that each one of these is going to a different one of these. Now remember, for a function, uh, this would be perfectly legitimate. So suppose you have one, two, three, and here we have A, B, and C. And actually, we can talk a little bit about uh, the different verbiage here. OK, so uh, suppose that this is some function G. And G is going to map 1 to A, and 2 to A, and 3 to A. This is a perfectly legitimate function. It's a constant function, but it's not 1 to 1, nor is it onto. This function is 1 to 1 and onto. It means it covers everything. This function is not onto this, which you would now really want to call the codomain. The codomain means what you're mapping into. The sp specifically, the word range means what you've actually hit, so to speak. So in this case, uh, this would be the range. And the codomain would be the actual set ABC. Um, you got to be careful about these things and you want to become more comfortable. A lot of times the devil is in the details when you're going to start reading papers, and you will read papers in your research areas. Uh, if they say codomain or range or whatever, you're going to have to start thinking, what are they really trying to get across to me here? But anyway, here's why this is so important. So we have this function. Uh, we want to know if we can find an inverse function, and if it's one-to-one, -one, we always can. And what that means, and here's the notation, you would do f inverse of b would equal one, f inverse of a is equal to two, and I better put it over here, f inverse of c is equal to three. Basically, the inverse just goes backwards, right? Uh, so. Uh, I, hopefully this won't get too messy, but so the inverse function maps this way, this way, and this way. And what we're going to do trig today too, or whenever, whenever you get around to it in your timetable. And you're going to find that it's really necessary to have these. You're going to use inverse functions a lot in many contexts. But knowing if you have an inverse function, it has to be one to one. And there used to be a test, you probably remember this from high school, uh, remember, how do you know if something is a function in x? Here's the x-axis. Here is the y-axis. Uh, how do you know something's a function in x? It's a function in x if it passes the vertical line test. The vertical line test says that it just hits x in one place for any vertical line that you draw. Similarly, a function in x is one-to-one one if it passes the horizontal line test. That is, a horizontal line hits it only once for any horizontal line. Um, by and large, you can usually tell if the functions you're playing with are one-to-one. One. Sometimes you have to do a little finagling, like uh, exchange the domain, uh, shear off some of the domain, truncate the domain. Uh, we'll be back. We'll see a direct example of it.